For most of our surface, the length of day is both predictable and gradually changing. We look forward to the months leading up to the summer solstice as the days get longer and longer, but we also know that afterwards every day will be shorter than the previous until the winter solstice, at which point the cycle will begin again. These changes are more pronounced as one goes further away from the equator. In Houston, the shortest day is 10 hours and the longest day is 14 hours. Helsinki, Finland is blessed with 19 hours of daylight in June, but the trade-off is short 6-hour days in December. What if, however, there was 24 hours of sunlight for month after month, and then suddenly one day the sun sets and isn't to be seen again for 6 months? It turns out this is a phenomenon at the poles, and it has to do with Earth's axial tilt. The reason the length of daylight on Earth for a given location changes each day is because the Earth is tilted relative to its orbital axis by 23.5 degrees. During the Northern Hemisphere summer beginning in June, that hemisphere is tilted towards the Sun and locations in the Northern Hemisphere receive more sunlight each day. Conversely, during this time the Southern Hemisphere is tilted away from the Sun, causing shorter days. Axial tilt is also the reason for seasons. During the summer, longer days combined with a higher sun angle cause the surface to warm up, while in the winter, shorter days and a lower sun angle result in colder conditions. Around the March and September equinoxes, Earth's equator is lined up with the sun and all locations on Earth will receive approximately 12 hours of sunlight those days. If Earth didn't have an axial tilt, every day would be like the equinoxes. But at Earth's poles, the equinoxes also mark the transition from 24 hours of sunlight to no sun at all. The poles are where Earth's rotational axis intersects the surface. On the equinoxes, Earth's poles are perpendicular to the sun, so the sun will be directly on the horizon those days. At the North Pole, after the March equinox, the sun will stay above the horizon for 6 months, because during this period, the North Pole will be facing the sun. Until the September equinox, the Sun will transit 360 degrees around the horizon each day because of Earth's rotation. The Sun angle will get higher each day as the North Pole is tilted more and more towards the Sun, and it will peak at 23.5 degrees above the horizon on the June solstice. Afterwards, the Sun angle will decrease each day until the September equinox, when it will cross below the horizon, not to be seen again for 6 months because between the September and March equinoxes, the North Pole will be pointed away from the Sun. The same events happen at the South Pole, but the six months of sunlight occurs between the September and March equinoxes instead. The North Pole is not inhabited as it is in the middle of the Arctic Ocean, but the South Pole is continuously inhabited by scientists at the American Amundsen-Scott South Pole Station. Fortunately for them, six months of no sunlight does not mean six months of total darkness. Because Earth's atmosphere scatters the sun's rays, it does not immediately get dark when the sun sets. Twilight occurs when the sun's light scattering illuminates Earth's surface. Twilight occurs in three phases depending on the sun's angle below the horizon. Civil, nautical, and astronomical. Civil twilight is the brightest phase in which artificial lighting is not yet needed to see most objects. Nautical twilight mostly encompasses blue hour and the brightest stars are visible. During astronomical twilight, nearly all of the visible stars can be seen. During the six months of no sunlight at the poles, the sun will dip to a maximum of 23.5 degrees below the horizon three months after the equinox before rising again. Since twilight occurs up to a sun angle of 18 degrees below the horizon, about five weeks preceding and five weeks following the winter solstice will be spent in 24 hours of nighttime. The strange happenings with sunlight aren't exclusive to the poles, but they are where the most extreme events occur. The Arctic and Antarctic circles, also called the polar circles, mark the limit where the sun will be above the horizon all day on the summer solstice, and below the horizon all day on the winter solstice. At all points north of the Arctic circle, the sun will be up all day on the June solstice, and the sun won't be seen all day on the December solstice. The closer to the poles you go, the more days where there will be 24 hours of sunlight in the summer and 24 hours of no sun in the winter. Outside of the polar circles, we can count on a sunrise and sunset every day. At the North and South Pole, however, there will be just one sunrise and one sunset the entire year.